Hello there, people. Welcome back to the Eagle Byte NFB channel where the past never dies. I'm, of course, your host, Eagle Byte. Tonight, we are going to go back to FTL because it's a chill night for uh, this time around. Um, so, uh, we're gonna pretty much just hop back uh, in, into, N F in, into FTL and uh, continue with the save that we have there. Uh, so let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. All oh, right. Forgot. H hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, I needed to, uh, um, this is the thing, you always have to switch the freaking window because I don't have the multiple sources that I used to have in my, in my, uh, scene, um, in my, uh, source selection. So, I have to do that. There we go. Okay. Should be, should be good. Again. My... Apologies. Here we go. Wait. There we go. And... There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> the annoying thing is, I can't... Like, I can't capture... I can't use the function capture any window. For some reason, that function is broken. Um, so I always have to like switch up the uh, the game um, the game source. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so we started over. Yes, but we've already accumulated two extra crew members. We have two Mantises. So we have Asted and we have Tach. And Farty is Gunner and Zai is an engineer and Elder is the pilot. Elder usually takes the pilot seat for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So where are we? Ah, distress call, yes. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Alright. <laughs> Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Zai is gone. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody needs to be the engineer now. Excuse me. Okay, Asted. Go over there. Yeah. Um, let's save this these positions. Okay, good. All right, keep jumping. Shit, we need uh fuel. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. You find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. They offer to upgrade your oxygen system in exchange for some scrap. Uh, no. I don't know what the oxygen does. Like, the, uh, the oxygen. I mean, the oxygen system. Like, uh, or I mean, <laughs> rather, I don't know what the oxygen system upgrade would do. Maybe that 
oxygen would deplete slower in case of a breach or something. I don't But no, that's not a priority right now. No store, really? Okay, we're gonna go down here then, I think. Yeah. We need to find fuel. Yeah, I can't. Sorry. Yes, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Okay, fix, every, like, the entire hull first. Yes. Now we need fuel, so we need to buy all the fuel that we can. There we go. Um, no new weapons. So I guess we should load up on missiles for now. Yeah. Oh, wait. Anti-combat drone. Oh, okay. Honestly? Uh, I feel like maybe we should upgrade. Can we upgrade another one? Yeah, we can. It's... But yeah, that would actually give me two more weapon power slots. Uh, so if I... Yeah. Let's go with that. For now, at least. Uh, okay. Cool. Jump. Uh, and there... Yeah. Distress. I'm gonna go there. Not much combat tonight. Your scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. Okay. That didn't give me anything. Okay. Distress. Okay. Ah, here we, here we go. Hello, we used our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. They they indicate a burnt out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. I am sorry, I don't have enough fuel. We understand, please send help our way if you meet anyone trustworthy. I mean... I don't think that's a thing, though. You can't really do that, so... Huh. We're basically just leaving them to their fate. Here we go. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. With teleporters. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. But what does that mean, really? Okay, we'll do this first. Target that one. And we'll send Artemis missiles at the engine. Yeah, I knew it. Uh... Oh, 
Shit. Okay. Uh... They're not good at repair. Okay, you... Ah. That was Asta. Okay. I'm gonna release all the oxygen here. Kill the fire that way. We still need, like, more, um, fuel. Alright. Bam. There we go. Well, we don't have any missiles left. Um, Alright. Let's just wait for the um, um, oxygen to replenish fully until we jump. So, guys, what are you up to tonight? And what is gonna... What are your plans for the, for the weekend? If anybody's out there. Let this go for it, Uru. Uh, I'm gonna go there first. See what that is. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. There's a, there, you have extra military grade explosives. No, sorry. Well, that was it, I guess. <gasps> oh yeah. Long range beacon. We're losing fuel. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the, with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you. You apparently spoke to the wrong person in your search for a store. Warnings go off, and you detect an automated rebel ship moving into attack. So everybody here was a, was a traitor. They basically just were looking for an excuse to, to kill us. Um, uh, burst laser, let's go for... Ah. I mean, we could target the shields. Just so, just make sure that the shields are out, and then kill the weapons. Okay. There we go. There we go.
Oh, we got some fuel as well again. And one missile. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next sector. We can go to the Zoltan... Zoltan Homeworlds. That's good. Okay, let's go for that one. You're far from Federation home space here in the Zoltan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. Um, well, yes, we need, but let's go here first. Rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. Oh, for fuck's sake, they got two drones. Well, we could... Hmm. Alright, let's do this first. Oh, we only have one missile. Okay. <laughs> Something happened there. Okay, this leads me to believe that the the beam drones are not really that useful because they don't really damage your shields. Okay, enough with the uh, with that thing. We can go for that one as well. And then we'll go for that one. No, we will not accept surrender. Sorry. Kaboom! Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go there, and then there, and then there. Just so I'll be able to get to the store as well. Oh, shit. You receive a message. This area is off limits. Submit your ship to processing. It's only one guard ship in a lonely beacon. You decide to fight your way out. Cloning facility. Uh, okay. Weapon. No. Shield. No worries. Okay. Oh, it keeps missing. Damn. Yeah, I know. No, stop missing. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. That's bad. They locked down the fucking hacking. Oh. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh my god. Maybe we should evacuate here as well again. No. Honestly, let's see if we can hit, like, start hitting their, uh, um, no, keep going with the shield, we'll run or die, can we, can we actually run, oh, we need, okay, ARPG fan, by the way. I don't think we can. I mean, okay, we need to. Uh, wait. Yeah. I didn't think you could, actually, because you... I've never tr I've actually never tried to run. Like, ever. Huh. What is that? That weapon? Some kind of... The, uh, I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah, we, we're probably not gonna survive again now. Alright, never mind. This was actually... Um... um once again, this was uh, an unfortunate combination of abilities on the on part of the enemy, because the hacking system is by far one of the more dangerous things, because that can actually disable your shield. Uh, so when you do that, it doesn't matter that you have two shields. And then it had this strange launcher, which launched some kind of cluster bomb or whatever it was. <clears throat> um, your jump charges during battle, it's easily ignored. Yeah, I thought, I, to this point, I've always thought that, um, when you, when you fight, you're basically locked in. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know, I usually, I'm actually able to penetrate the shields and one shot will always hit the shield generator. This time, however, I don't know, the, it didn't work for some reason. Uh, one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Alright, restart. Uh, no. Let's put RPG fan in there. Let's do that. <gasps> there we go. RPG fan, you are now an engineer. Congratulations on your new assignment. Your co your colleagues, your uh, crewmates consist of Farty, who's a, a gunner, and Elder, who's a pilot. And of course, I am the captain. <laughs> uh. 
that's my job if I ever had one. Yes, let's hope, uh, let's hope we manage to get the message to the Federation this time. Uh, okay. Alright, let's see where we are. Here we are. I am going to go there. Oh, a fight right off the bat? An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Attack! Uh, yeah, just go. Flat gun. Oh, flat gun? MK2 version is... Mark II version is very powerful. Yeah, I felt... It, it kind of felt like that gun was a bit overpowered. I have to say. I mean, it, it, it just kept us having to repair shit. And that in combination with the hacking system? Yeah, there was no way. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. Yes, good. Now, speaking of the flat gun... <laughs> the, sta <laughs> the station is a storage site for military-grade weapons. You find one that can be easily attached to the ship. Thanks, man. Mark 1 shoots three projectiles. Ma okay, very nice. How much power does that one require? Required power 2, as with the burst laser. So... I still need to upgrade... Let's see, what do I, what do I need? I need... Um, well, I don't want to use it until I've used up all my missiles. Besides, we don't really need it, at least, like, now, in the first sector. So I'm gonna keep it in the hold, in the hold, in the hold for now. Um, and once I get more scrap, I'll upgrade uh, the power, the generator, and uh, get more power and all that. Uh, by the way, RPG fan, how are you? It's been a while since I saw you. Cheers. Ah. Uh -uh. Yeah, I can, but the burst laser is like one of one of the. I mean, that's old reliable, basically. I don't know how much I can like how much shots per charge. It has a lower, a lower uh, charge uh, charging. It has a faster charge rate. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Physical projectile blast, laser. Okay, we can actually try it out. Why not? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's see what it does. Can I move it there? No. <laughs> okay. It looks a little weird. Doing that. Okay, never mind. Um. Didn't want to see the Ogre Battle since I want to play that game sometime. <laughs> Aww. Well... Uh, you'll be glad to know that we only have, like, three missions to go. Um, I might play one of them tomorrow, unless I actually have a life tomorrow, and, and, uh, you know, go for an after work or something. RPG, you're, you're, you're not maxed out. You need to go to, go to medbay immediately. Um... That's... Oh, it actually says... It, ha it has a description as well. Um, slightly improved version of the burst laser that fires... Oh, this is a Mark II. I thought... Do we always start with a burst laser Mark II? I don't remember if we do. 
Black Gun fires a blast of debris across a random area, doing up to three damage. Good at taking down shields, but hard to aim. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, burst lasers are very surgical. They really go in for... If you want their shields down, you can always count on the burst laser to do the trick. Um, except for when they have more shields and you need another weapon to, to work in conjunction there. This ship version. Oh, really? I didn't even know. Alright. We'll try out the flak. I'm not saying um, that I'm switching completely. I'm going to uh, uh, try it out and then I might switch back to burst laser. It, it depends. We'll see. And we are in the nebula now, which makes the rebel fleet a little bit. Yeah. The fleet pursuit will be slower, but will disrupt your sensors. So, I might be able to go around, like, to all of these. Yeah, can I go there? No, I can't. I have to go here first. Okay. Oh, this... I was gonna say, that's a dead end, but it wasn't. <gasps> hey, Elder! Yeah, everything's good, everything's good. We started over again. We faced a Zoltan that was uh, a little that had an unfortunate combination of uh, hacking system and flak gun. <laughs> but glorious news! Now RPG fan is with us. He is actually the engineer this time around. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from Beacon's attack. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, basically, he kept hacking the shield, which brought down the shield um, intermittently, and then... Uh, uh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Um, and then, um, the flak kept causing damage to the hull. Not the fire. The fire was actually easily extingu is extinguishable, but the hull couldn't take the pressure. He was hacking your guns. Was he? I thought it kept firing. I don't know, I was just so focused on, like, trying to get the fire out and whatnot. I don't know. Um, alright, so, Artemis. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, for now at least. Um, oh. Oh, okay, it's an area of effect. Interesting. By purple. Well, the purple thing was uh, was on the camera, like constantly. He was like there. I don't know. Whatever. That's bygones now. Um. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's go for that one. The first shot. Let's see what the flat cannon can do. Oh my god, it actually took out the f their fire, or the, their uh, weapon systems. It did all, their, <laughs> their flat cannon took out the engine here, but we managed to target the right system because he can't really fire anymore, which, of course, is good. Uh, so... <laughs> we realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Nope. 
Um, So the projectiles are actually... Oh, shit. What I missed? They bypass shields. Nice. Yeah, and the, uh, the um, flak, flak gun as well. The ship was carrying military supplies. You pick up anything that looks salvageable from the debris. Thank you. RPG fan, you are injured again. You need to go to the med bay. You're always in such a hurry to get injured. No, just kidding. <laughs> always playing the hero. Hang on! I can save the warp coil! <laughs> well, the fire is everywhere, you know, like, it's just, it's just smoke and mirrors. I can handle this. I'm fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> no. No, you're not supposed to be there. Reassigned. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nothing here. Okay, we're going to go there. So, guys, what are your plans for the weekend? You gonna do anything interesting? As you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you half expect to be ambushed at any moment. However, no attack comes. Okay, that's good. Alright, back out. Turn on autofires. I tend to forget to retarget the gun. Yeah, I usually use autofire as well. For some reason today, I've been I've been doing it manually. Uh, maybe it's because it's a new gun, and I I don't know what to where to focus fire. <clears throat> Interesting enough, you're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. They arm weapons. Let's see here. What do they have? Nothing too advanced. Very good. Uh, so what do they have? Okay. Missile and heavy laser, I think it is. I think we can deal with that. Uh, okay, well, let's go for the shields first. Doobie 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 doobie. Oh, nobody's on the shield. Nobody's on shield detail. Uh, wait. Oh, faster charge. Elder, go back and repair. Holy shit! Oh my god, Farty! Oh my god. What a Elder! Stop being dazed! The hell? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so let's start this over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Farty's dead. RPG! RPG is like gonna sacrifice himself! No! RPG! He, he tried to fix it, but in the end, all crew members died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity, or until looters destroy it. I wonder if the ship would, like, be commandeered by pirates and they would pa paint, like, you know, the, pi the paint scheme of pirates over it. <clears throat> Font size? Oh, okay. Ugh. 
open all the doors except that one room with a breach. Huh? Oh, right. That's true. Because that one did have hull, have a hull breach. But wouldn't the fire have spread anyway? I mean, through the doors. Because they're not blast doors. All right. I mean, it's a little bit touch and go. The fire might have survived for long enough to spread. So, I don't know. Distress. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Yes. Let's lead them. Let's jump suits. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I usually do that. I open up the doors like last time back here in engineering. I kept getting attacked uh, in engineering, so I kept opening the doors to suffocate the fire. Um, that is an, a very effective way of dealing with things, but it also leaves oxygen, like the oxygen is gone. So if you have to do that procedure for a room that is very important, uh, like for instance, the weapons control, um, yeah, that's you won't be able to use that until oxygen is restored uh, in there. Now, I I was thinking two dimensionally because I thought, okay, we're gonna have to open that door and that door and that door to suck, uh, you know, suck out the fire. But it it it, it did actually have uh, a hole breach here, so I guess I guess. Um, I guess oxygen would have depleted uh, there eventually as well. <clears throat> hmm? It only lowers the... Wait. It only lowers the oxygen in the room a little when you open the door. Which door? Oh, you mean... Are you talking about the rate that the oxygen is being depleted at? Once the fire is gone, you close all doors, then open all doors. Once they equalize socks. Jesus. The lower right icons on subsystem. The lower right icons on subsystems. The lower right icons on subsystems on the door one. On the on the door one. <laughs> Try to interpret what you're saying here. Clicking the lower on. Clicking the lower on once opens all doors except the airlocks twice also. Okay. Uh, the white. Wait. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, open all doors. On. It's a little bit um, misleading because it says open all doors on the ship. You could... You could take that as opening all doors, you know, on the ship. Uh, I feel like it should have flavor text that says open all bulkhead doors or something like that. Like internal doors. And then when you, when you uh, double click it, it could say like underneath, like double click opens every openable door or something like that. Yeah, I know. It opens all doors. There you go. But, um, I mean, how old is this game now? 
to argue about game design um, for a game that's... I don't know how old it is. It seems a little bit pointless. Uh, no, I opened once, and then I tried opening it. Uh, I clicked it one one more time. Uh, all right, I think we're done here. Let's just wait for the oxygen. And I am out of coke, of course. So this guy is now going to follow us. <laughs> I'm activating my guns. Why are you activating your guns? I... No reason. Read nothing into it. <laughs> small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. They are already being powered up. Uh, drone. What drone? Oh, it's a beam drone. Okay, never mind. Oh, it only has one weapon. Interesting. Okay, let's do that then. Is that... Oh, sorry. Just remove that shield. Since you don't need much evasion at this point. Gosh. No, it's it's you. It's not Zai. It's gonna be. It needs to be you. Why is it reverting to the same names? Like, wh why is it reverting to that? I don't. I don't understand that. Oh, is it because? Oh, because I started a new game in which I renamed the, the crew name. Yeah, okay, okay. Because I always restart. So in essence, I restart the same game, I guess. Oh, okay. Wait, what is that? Okay, we might as well... Let me see. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, nope. <laughs> Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Thank you. Alright. Let's move on. Quest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going that way. I wonder. I mean, yeah, okay. Well, let's go this way. pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship. Yes, okay. Attack. You power up your weapons and move it in to engage. No hackers, no teleporters. Okay. Good. Always engineering. <laughs> they look like they don't want to fight. Uh, really? You could have fooled me. There we go. You 
detect faint life signatures from an intact piece of the hull. Oh, they were transporting prisoners, and the whole sole survivor offers to join your crew as a first step on their path to get revenge. Johnson. No, that's way too... Uh... <laughs> Johnson. No. His, his name's gonna be... Krzak. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Krzak. Okay, good. Oh, no! We can't even see it! Oh, there you go. This guy's immune to fire, but he's very slow. He's got more, ha more HP as well. This is not Zai. This is RPG fan. There we go. Alright. Uh, uh, um. Hit the pilot or engine to stop them. Yes. Um. Yeah, exactly. You, on, on this ship, you are not... You you are who I, uh, I tell you that you are. Yeah, report to sickbay. All right, all systems go. Let's move. Do, 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 do. Okay, so... We're going for the quest, but I'm wondering if I can, like, skim the uh, surroundings here before the before the uh, rebels arrive after that. We'll see. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Um, no. Too bad you will regret this decision. All right, let's see what the what do they have? Cannot be targeted. Shield overcharger. What is a shield overcharger? Um, let's go for that one. Last time we, pl um, last journey, we also kept running out of fuel, which started to be an issue. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there we go. I feel naked with only one shield. I wanna, I wanna upgrade and get more shields. Like I wanna always have at least two shields. But to, in order to do that, I need at least 100 scrap to get the next shield. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I feel bad that you can't sell drone parts. I mean, you can do it in certain unique encounters, I think. But, like, I, I rarely use drones, like, ever. So I feel like I would like to sell them. Uh, there we go. All right, let's keep going. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. Thank you. Oh, at least we have plenty of fuel now. That's good. 
Defense drone. But you have to have like a, you have to buy a system as well to have to have the drones even work. Is it worth it? I'm gonna go around here a little. I'm gonna check these three systems. There we go. Oh, pirate. Pirate investigator. Really? Okay. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. Uh, I mean, uh, no. let's try to be a hero. Ah. All right. Now I was thinking, like, if it's like, don't you have to like try to find a place that actually sells a drone system to? Because they're not available at every single store. And then, of course, you also have to buy the particular drones that you want as well. And who's to say what drones are available? Or if there even is drones available, or are drones available at the store? So it's, it feels like it's, there's, it's a lot of hoops to jump through to get a hold of that. Let's try to be a hero. We are the Federation after all. Fire ship stops its pursuit and locks weapon onto your ships. Locks weapons, yes. <laughs> Again with the fucking engineering. RPG fan is trying is working his ass off to save the engine. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. I mean, I usually try to do that, but whenever there is a shield, I try to bring that down first. So we won't have, like, resistance when we target the guns. <clears throat> but the engineering section... L look, he's actually... I can see the path it's taken. Oh, shit. Let's improve it. I mean, he's gonna die pretty soon, but then again, my hull is... Mm, and we're also... I think the shield room was actually pr hit pretty badly now. I think there's a fire there. I don't know. They're very close to death, though. Let's try it. Oh, we have... That's right, we have a Zoltan there that's immune to fire. <laughs> oh my god, what's that? <laughs> oh, sorry. I I said the wrong thing. <laughs> I meant I meant Rockman. I love how he jumps. He like skips to to put up the fire, you know. pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You gotta examine the ship you just saved. Oh, we don't get anything else than that? We only get nine scrap from that pirate ship? Upon closer inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. Use the leverage. Oh, this is interesting. I've never come across this encounter, actually. Use the leverage you gain by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. Hmm. And yeah, we're, we're kind of... We have a, a non-functional shield right now. And we're... The hull is at yellow. I want to try this to see what happens. Hopefully that will buy you more time to get to the next sector. Fleet delayed by one jump. Okay, it wasn't that much, but okay.
Okay, ten more scrap, and we can get a working, a second, a working second shield. Yeah. Actually, I think we can already, already do that. Wait, 20, 30, that's 50. And then... I think it's gonna be 20, 20... Yeah, I think we can do it already. Yes! Ha <laughs> Yeah, just enough. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Feels good. Alright, Kurza... You need uh, maintenance and RPG once again. Always playing the hero. Report to sick bay immediately. <laughs> I mean, if there's any title for a heroic engineer, RPG fan would fit the bill tonight. <laughs> How many times hasn't he stayed behind? In like a the end the engineering room with like you know fire everywhere just good lord <laughs> tanky software yeah all right let's see is there a store somewhere here I hope there is Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Okay. Explore. Ah oh, Pirate. Uh, pirate ship hiding behind one of the larger asteroids Atta attacks you. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I mean, we're only in the uh, first sector, I think. Seeing as how it's only one shield. There we go. Mm -hmm. Boom! Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. I mean, <laughs> you attacked me, so... I'm sorry. Kaboom! Ship explodes, leaving behind loot. Thank you. Okay, it would be good to um, actually find a store where we can get a hold of... Uh, uh, some repairs for the hull. There is... No okay, well, maybe one of these. Okay, of course. Auto hacker as well. You detect an automated rebel scout. No, we need... We need... Let's be the hero. Oh! <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, at least... Wait, what weapon does he have? What is that? I don't recognize it. That's not a flat cannon, is it? I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna go for... Missile, okay. And he hacked the doors. Yes, because that's a really vital system. Okay. <laughs> I know. Why is it blinking blue, though? 
if it's not working, I mean. <laughs> oh, I'm actually gonna have to go to bed soon. I wanna repair first. Campus has here after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. On the house? Not on the ship? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Nothing is a store here, really. All right, we can we can go to two more systems, and then we'll have to head for the exit. I think. Let me go there. If that military vessel, we're trying to get back our home, get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor. I'm sorry. Um, wait, improve the reactor. What does that do, basically? It gives me more power, right? Or is it just one power bar? Do I really want to exchange four missiles for that? Seven. One power bar. I mean, we do get a ready, uh, steady supply of missiles whenever we attack and destroy an enemy. Not much, but... I also want to change. I want to switch weapons. I hate being rely, reliable, uh, reliant on the. Um, I hate being de um, dependent of the on the um, Artemis. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Next jump. Still no store, okay. Never mind them. Oh, we can actually get more juice out of the engine now. The nearby plant shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning, quarantine level five on the count of COVID. Uh, <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends if you have, like, if you have, if they have more than one shield, it's not a guarantee. Alright, let's head to the exit. You arrived at the long range beacon when the FTL drive. Basically, you can also use burst laser just to bring down the shields. If, if it's only one shield, at least. Even two, but that's kind of hard. And you need time to do that as well. Uh, you run along. Blah, 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 blah. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work. Yes. Uh, piloting subsystem. I mean, okay. But I really want to repair the hull. Fuck it. Let's do it. Elder can't pilot for shit anyway. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, jump. Next sector. Let's see. Civilian sector or rock controlled? 
hostile or civilian. Men, this is not a dictatorship. This is a democracy. I want to hear you. Usually, under Federation regulations, I would determine the, the current course, but now I need your input as we fly towards the Federation homeworlds. We need to make a decision. Where should we go? <laughs> and thus spoke the engineer. Civilian. The civilian sector must have more supplies that we can get our hands on. We need them in order to get to the home worlds. But then the pilot spoke up. No, no, I want to try the hostile sector. I want to fly around and see if I can dodge. But okay, civilian it is. <laughs> Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump. This is just generic text for, yeah. <clears throat> All right. That's a hub. Ah, whenever I say a system is a hub, it means that it, like, has paths that branch out. So it looks like, you know, the lines from a, from a cartoon sun. Uh, the, 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 like, sunbe sunbeams. And that actually increases the odds. The more systems you connect to, the more chance, the bigger the odds are that you will spot, you know, a store or a distress beacon or something like that. Uh, let's go there. Oh, shit. We're in... We jumped in too close to the sun. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant Class M star. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Uh, okay. How many missiles do we have now? Charging. Wait, is the uh, overheating going to be represented by the hull taking damage? Solar flares will light the ship on fire. Oh no, it'll be. Oh, okay. Hmm. Solar flare imminent. Ah! Okay, he can take care of that one. Farty should be able to take care of that one as well. For now. Oh shit, the burst laser is gone. Artemis! Fuck him up. The enemy ship appears to be power... Oh, okay. Fix the system, Farty. Oh, took out his engine. Nice. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's do it. Why not? Boom. Okay, we got loot. Very nice. Okay, now... I did this before. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that and that. I th this worked before, but... Oh, we can jump. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a store. Nice. By all means, let's go to the store. Oh, shit. I forgot to close the doors. <laughs> Space Station here has a traveling merchant. Um... 
thank you, finally. Uh, wait, do you have... Oh, we got better... We got new weapons. Do, 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 do. Reconstructive teleport. Crew gets fully healed by teleportation. Oh, okay. You need a teleporter to do that. Ship's FTL power is up to 25% faster. Repair arm. Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap. Oh. Interesting. But I can't afford any of this right now. Selling the Artemis would only give me 19 scrap. But I don't have any have any missiles. Ugh. Guess I'm stuck with fucking Artemis. Very well. I can't do anything else. There we go. Oh. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. Nice. Very good. Very good. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that actually makes O2 go up faster. No, it doesn't. It's the same rate. Alright, never mind. Very well, Farty, in you go. Damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. For the station, and for survivors. Hey, human corpses are scattered across the station. Okay, maybe shouldn't be that happy to read that. You find the source of the signal: a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with them in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Monsvik. No, this guy is going to be, uh, hmm, uh, Zook. Yeah, Zookster, there we go. Uh, yes! Alright, where are you? There you are. Now, let's see here. Okay, everything looks good. Um, I will actually wrap this up here because... But we're actually leaving this in a very good... Uh, we've got all hull. Like, all, the entire hull is intact. We got two shields... We have got five crew members. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's looking good. And we've got upgrades to, what was it? The generator and the uh, piloting system. So, yeah, this looks good. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the positions, absolutely. Um... No worries, man. No worries. Uh, let's do this. Save and quit. Thank you. Okay. So, that is it for tonight. I'm going to head off to bed now because I got school tomorrow. Uh, which is interesting to say. Um, no worries. 
If you want to, you can always check out my Discord, which is reachable through this link. That is where you'll always get the latest news and updates regarding the channel, because it is the official channel, uh, the uh, official Discord of this streaming channel. Tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow is Friday, and I have a school day, and I don't know how much energy I'm going to have tomorrow. Um, there's actually a couple of ways tomorrow can end. Um, I might not have any energy to do anything at all. I might have enough energy to actually um, travel or like go go out tomorrow with a female friend who actually is, has asked me to join. I don't know if she's going to be partying or whatever, but I don't know. But that's a big if, if I have energy. I mean, I've, I'm past 40, so... You know, <laughs> or I might just say fuck it and maybe I'll stream tomorrow. But if I stream tomorrow, I will be streaming Ogre Battle, just so you know, uh, RPG. So um, I will be doing that in that case, um, most likely. Kind of depends on my mood as well. But anyway, that is it for me tonight. Hope you have a good Friday. And if I don't stream tomorrow, I'll see you on Monday again which is definitely going to be an Ogre Battle stream. For now, take care. Remember to mind social distance and always keep the retro legacy alive. The Zegobite83 wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.